good day, friends. It is me, HL Mod Tech, and I just got some new toys from ComGrow. Friends, it's time to unbox them, so let's get cracking. All right, everybody, so we have got two projects here. Uh, first, we have got an awesome large cover, and we'll do the assembly video for that. And then also, we've got a sweet camera mount. And I'll get that one done after we get the cover all built and its assembly taken care of. All right, so let's see what we've got in the box. First and foremost, we have got the cover. There's the instructions. I'll get that out in just a second. We have got the vent and a support plate that gives it strength. End corners. It has all the pipes. And now we've got an empty box. Let's get to assembly. All right, so real quickly, we've got ones facing forward, twos to the side. Same thing down here at the bottom. And then we've got threes going upwards. Let's see if we can get that put together. Alrighty, friends, so I have got everything unpackaged. Notice there are two sets of twos, and these connect into each other. So before we get going, I'm just going to connect all of my twos. Over here, I put my ones, and I've got the same thing going on back there with the threes. When you pick them up, notice the twos do have a way they connect. So you've got to find the one with the little dot and boom, put them together. They were in separate packages. I just put them all in the same pile. Same step for the number ones, but I'm going to be slicker here. I know all my holes are at the bottom. I know all the connectors are up top. So that makes it even a little faster. And then finally, same thing with the threes. Bang. All right, friends, so the next step is to assemble the twos and the ones. This just slides in just like that. If one goes this way, and then we're going to do the other corners, but it just won't fit on the camera. All right, so there's one assembled. You can see that is pretty darn large. Now I'm going to build the second one. And friends, there is number two. Now I'm going to do the threes up and down so we can see what this frame looks like. And friends, there you have it. The entire frame. That's a beast. Definitely not going to keep it right there, but I will get the cover on it for that spot for now. Alrighty friends, so we have unzipped the cover and it completely goes inside. So there's no way I'm going to be able to get myself in front of you and show this, but I have unzipped it completely and it's going to go in and I'll show you in a minute when it's all done. Alrighty friends, so it is on here. Uh, the corners fit snug. Uh, when you unzip this, it goes all the way up and over. So while you're assembling, you can unzip all the way back to there to make it easier for you to get inside here and check out the corners. Now real quickly, some cool things about this. There are access panels. So we can get in from the side if you have a need to. So you can see right there, I'm able to get in. You can also seal it up tight. You have also got three different spots where you can send the fumes out the back, which is pretty darn sweet. I also wanna highlight that over here on the side, there are also Velcro flaps for you to send your cables in and out. You have access from both sides for that as well. Of course, the final steps are to pick which side you're going to install these on. This will go through and then on the outside you'll have the plate and then you'll screw them in to hold them in place. I'm going to pick that later. I'm going to also take this downstairs and I'm going to add a 3D printed part to have a fan in there to help exhaust mine. I will show you that 3D print and I'll show you how it works when I'm done with that as well. Before we wrap this up, it has got what they call a 3D printing light. This is large enough to hold a 3D printer, which is pretty cool. I am, of course, going to use it for my lasers or maybe my resin printers. All right, friends, so this runs off USB, and it has two little clips. So there's a metal bracket facing up, and you want to attach these this way, just using a normal Phillips screwdriver to tighten those in. And then you'll have to have your own brick like you charge a phone to actually plug it into. 
and then they'll clip up on the post in whichever corner you want to put your light. All right, everybody, so there you can see I have both clips installed. I'm going to choose to snap it in right up there, just like that. It has got a switch right here. Let me plug it in and let me show you what it looks like when it's lit up. All right, so let's hit the switch and bam, you have got a pretty darn well lit enclosure. One other added bonus is it comes with a vent close. So if you ever want to cap it, boom, you can just put that in and cap your output vent. How cool is that? Alrighty friends, so there you have it. Assembly of the large enclosure for 3D printers and laser cutters. I am going to note uh, this does not look like it's safe for laser viewing. So do make sure you have your goggles on when you are using it. Of course friends, there will be more tests coming soon. And if you're interested, there will be a link in the description. And finally friends, if you enjoyed the video, please give it a like. Please also hit that share button so more people can learn about HL Mod Tech. Of course, if you got a question, comment, or suggestion, add it down below. And if you haven't subscribed yet, what are you waiting for? Smash that subscribe button. And last but not least, hit that notification bell if you want to be the first to know when there's a brand new video from me, HL Mod Tech. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.